Hello guys, uh, welcome to Fave Studio School. Um, my name is Marius uh, and we, as Fave, we are very excited to finally be able to introduce our um, project that we've been working for a long time, uh, where we're gonna be talking about different lights uh, for photographers, for videographers. Uh, we're gonna be showing you how you how to use lights in a photography set, in a studio setting. We're gonna be showing how to use lights outside studio in different locations. Um, so basically we're gonna be starting from something simple like one light and then we're gonna be going up to more advanced levels where we're gonna introduce more and more and more lights, different modifiers. Uh, yeah, and we hope we, you are uh, gonna find something that you can use in your photography or videography and uh, we're gonna help you to improve your skills and knowledge uh, within photography and videography. Uh, Yes, so we are going to be starting today with one light and introducing different reflectors uh, to change the image and the way the image looks. Uh, so that's it, without further ado, let's start the course. So guys, first of all, I would like to introduce you with our amazing team, starting with this uh, gorgeous model, Astrid. Hi. Uh, our amazing makeup artist uh, that is behind now, uh, Dorota, she did a brilliant job on Astrid. Uh, we have videographer that is actually hiding now behind the camera and taking this video. Uh, his name is Mark and you're gonna see him later in uh, video tutorials. So starting with one light only, uh, this is one continuous light that we're going to be using from Pixapro. Uh, it's quite powerful uh, and you need power when you use a big reflector. Um, so just for you to see how it looks, how Astrid is going to look when I switch off the light. So that's why you have just with tiny natural light coming in front from the window. Uh, it just, the face it just looks flat, it's not flattering. Is like two-dimensional and as soon as you put the light on uh, as soon as you put the light on, you can see huge difference because the light gives nice uh, highlights and nice shadows on one side and highlights on one side and shadows on the other side so let's go and shoot It's nice to have a uh, side light, um, as it always looks good on the model. But I just want to show you how the models, how the image is going to change if you move the light around. So you can visually see um, what you can actually do with one light. Um, and how can you change the look on the model. So just, uh, if you look at the face of the model, so basically I can go, I can go, if Astrid, if you look straight. Yeah, so if I go behind her, that's how the light changes on her face. Um, so if I move sideways, a bit more sideways, you can see the difference on her face. And now I'm going to go past the shot, so I'm, I'm sorry for that. Um, so you can see um, how the light changes on her face. So that's if the light is straight towards her. So I'm going from another side. That's how the light changes. So that's just to give you an idea what what can you do with one light if you move it around um, and how you like uh, the light to be placed. So it's up to your own uh, taste basically. So guys, just to give you a little bit of specifications on this particular light that we're using today. Uh, so using, as I mentioned before, we're using Pixar Pro uh, LED light here. It's quite powerful and we can use that with many different modifiers and you still can have um, uh, good results on the model. So basically this is, this is how the model looks without no light. And then once you go from zero, you can go to like 10%. You can see a little bit of a difference on the model. And this light can go by 10% to 100% light so that's 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 how the model looks on 100 percent of the light so that's the that's the maximum the light can go uh, but because we're using very wide modifier the light spreads a lot so it doesn't uh, it doesn't look as bright if we would use something different um, like more narrow modifier uh, the light would be much stronger and you would yeah you would see the difference on the model uh, another amazing thing that the uh, light has you can adjust the kelvin so you can adjust the warmth of the color uh, from going from 
this cold look that you can see in the model now. If you want to um, have a warmer image, um, you can adjust that on the light, so you don't, do, you don't need to do that in post-production. Uh, so the light has the um, ability to go from 3200 Kelvin to all the way to 5600 Kelvin. Um, and I love that, because there's a lot of versatility there you can uh, play around with. So we're basically done with the one light with no uh, reflectors. And uh, now the model is going to go and change and we're going to add one reflector and you're going to see the big difference in the picture. So basically we shot now with one light only. So for this shot, we're going to add a reflector. So we're just going to use simple polyboard white, uh, white side. We're going to use the white side of the polyboard just to add a little bit more light on this side of uh, Astrid's face and body. Uh, so it's gonna move in, you're gonna move in quite close to her, and then we'll take a shot and see how it looks uh, in the image, and if we need we move back or we move closer to Astrid. So if you move back away from Astrid, it's gonna give less uh, light reflection if you move closer, it's obviously gonna give more light on the other side of Astrid's face that's away from the uh, actual light. So let's uh, let's have a look what we can uh, what kind of image we're gonna get out of this. Yeah, I need you to just look straight towards me. That's it. So I can see the difference after. Yeah, that's perfect, beautiful, amazing. Okay. You start posing and I stop you, no? Uh, so this is, so guys, this is what we get um, when we shoot with uh, one reflector on the side. Um, so we get we get a little bit of reflection on her um, right on the other side where you have shadow. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna turn around the polyboard. It has a black um, side on the other side, so that would bring more shadow on um, our models this side of the face. So you can you can um, see the difference after when I take a picture. So you can clearly see straight away how much shadow it gives on this side of uh, Astrid's face. And so we're gonna take a picture and uh, we can see what, what the picture looks like after. I'll take one shot so we can compare it with the shot before. Let's see. So as you can see, this was our before shot. So you can see how much uh, highlight is on this side. And now, with the, with the black polyboard on, on, uh, on our side, you can see how much shadow it adds on the model's face. So that's before, and that's after. Um, we have some nice results with one reflector. Um, having a dark side of the reflector on the, our model's uh, right side of the face. So to make it a bit more interesting, we're gonna add another reflector. It's gonna be a, a black um, polyboard as well. So we're gonna put one next to each other. We're gonna have models standing in the middle. So now, instead of this light, um, I'm just gonna take the umbrella off and we're gonna keep the small um, modifier on the light that actually comes with the light. And it comes with like a dif light diffuser here. So we're just gonna put that on the uh, just diffuse it here, take the umbrella. We're gonna turn the light directly into the model this time rather than directing into the softbox. So we're gonna have harsher light. Uh, basically we wanna get like very dramatic look um, with the same one light. Um, so yeah, once it's set up, you can have a look. We'll take a picture and uh, you see the result. So guys, as you can see now on Astrid, you can see nice uh, harsh shadows under both uh, sides of the cheeks. Uh, even when she smiles, you can see a nice huge smile here. Anyway, so that's what we wanted to get. We wanted to get a bit more um, dramatic look and we see on how it goes, but it might be too harsh now the light, so we might need to adjust it um, as it have, we have possibility to do that on the light. So let's, uh, let's try and give it a shot. See it? have a look so guys as you can see we took a couple shots and you can see on the cheeks here you have a um, nice hard shadow um, the problem is now we have hard shadow under her eyes uh, and also we have hard shadow under the 
uh, chin. So to reduce that, we're just going to use one white um, simple board, like paper board. And we're gonna, when we're going to shoot, we're just going to ask model to hold this, uh, just like that. That's it. And that's going to fill that's going to fill all the shadows here under the chin, uh, cheeks, and under the eyes. We're going to lower that. So then, obviously, the uh, shadows they're going to reduce. They're going to become smaller. Uh, and we're not going to have big shadow under her eyes. Uh, and we're still going to have the white board under. So guys, this is a wrap up for today. Uh, we've gone through uh, our first session where we covered one light setup um, with actually three um, um, reflectors. So we started with one light only, then we, we added one reflector, light reflector, then we added a black reflector to make it a bit more moody image. Then we added a second reflector to make the uh, image even moodier. And also we changed the modifier, light modifier, so we went from umbrella to like very direct, straight and harsh light. Um, and yeah, so in the results you can see the difference in between like one setup and then uh, adding reflectors. So that's it, so I'm gonna stop talking now. Um, I'm gonna ask our uh, gorgeous model what she thought about the <laughs> shoot. Um, so what did you thought? How did you went? That was an amazing experience because it's something different. Like, um, Obviously, it's like showing more about the technique to get the great shots uh, with the different lighting and different, what is this called? Reflectors. Reflectors. <laughs> so yeah, and, and I learned a bit about it, so yeah. It was she might become a photographer soon. Exactly. Though. <laughs> Model and photographer. Exactly, so yeah, it was fun. Yeah, if, if I can teach somebody who doesn't do photography uh, how to lead the subject, that's amazing. Uh, that means I'm doing something good. Photos hopefully. are amazing. <laughs> stay uh, tuned. For yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. So <laughs> st st stay stay tuned for more uh, videos for coming soon. <laughs>